Hello everybody and welcome to Friday, June 18th um, Facebook Live. Um, last week I wasn't here. I was um, out of town and doing some fun stuff. And so last week I posted a video about a fun stamp set, which I'm going to be featuring later on this month. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. You know, every once in a while um, during the summer, we get busy and opportunities come up. And that's what happened last Friday. So I'm sorry I wasn't here live, but I am excited to be back here live with you this week. Today I'm going to share with you um, just a couple fun gift bags. There's a larger and a smaller one. Both of them will hold, you know, plenty of goodies. And I think they're kind of fun to use. And if you're like me, you probably have a lot of designer series paper. 12 by 12 printed paper with fun prints in that that you haven't used. So whether you're a hoarder and you just have to keep them all, or you have a lot and you haven't found some fun projects to use, I hope that you'll enjoy the products projects that I'm gonna share with you today. Now the paper we're using is this right here. This is our hand pen designer series paper. It's new in our annual catalog. I love the colors in it. Um, we have here, this is our, um, Oh my gosh, mint macaron. We have pale papaya, Highland Heather, Blushing Bride, Garden Green, and Daffodil Delight is that one. And then the floral images are just filled with all of those colors, plus a few more, so it's just beautiful. The stamp set I'm going to be using, hi Deanna, um, is The Biggest Wish. I think it's a really fun stamp set. I love how um, we have the big bold images and then our scripty ones here. And we're also going to bring in set that aside for a second our memory and more cards so these are fun pack of cards that are already have images on them they're two-sided so there's a lot to choose from and you get two of every one of them there's also these larger images right here there's a lot of them you can color them in you can there's printed ones and then there's sheets, uh, sheets of stickers and you're gonna get two each of these sticker sheets. Can't even talk today. Um, so it's a lot of fun. They're great and they're easy to work with. Um, next week on the, the 24th of June at seven o'clock over on my online Stampin' Up! workshop with Jeannie Cooker, I'm going to be doing a workshop focusing on those memory and more cards. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna pull this up and I will share with you the first bag that we are going to be making. So here it is here. It's just a fun little bag. Um, the designer series paper we're gonna cut to 12 by 10 inches. And then we made this little tag right here and tied it up with a bow. So let me get started. All right. Here is the designer series paper. And I did create a little white tag here and I used our Stitch So Sweetly um, dies. And so I just die cut one of these out like that. Has lots of different sizes and labels. It's a fun set. So I'm gonna be using that. And then this is the card that I'm going to be using. So on one side it has this and the other side it looks like that. Now this is what I want right here. So I will be cutting that part out. I won't be using the whole card. On the side here, up at the top, this is a small bag um, dimensions that I'm going to be using. I will also post them on, um, this, on this video. So you'll have the post for that and all the products I'm using. I'm going to take out my paper trimmer and I'm extending the arm. And this paper happens to go one direction. So when I'm cutting it, I want it to be 10 inches tall. So I want my flowers going, going up and then it's gonna be 12 inches wide. So let me just cut off four inches here. Actually, let me cut off two inches, not four. The next one we're gonna cut off four inches. All right, so I'm gonna cut that strip off. And then instead of scoring on my um, paper trimmer, I'm gonna go ahead and score on my scoreboard. This is really handy and it works really well with your paper. So I'm going to first turn it so that it is 10 inches across the top. And we're gonna score that at two and a quarter inches. And then we're gonna come back and score it at nine inches. Oops. I'm 
I'm going to rotate it. So now this is the top of our bag. And I'm going to score that at three and a half inches. Five and three quarters inches. And you'll notice I have these little tabs here. Those come with it. And then nine, inch, nine and a quarter inches. Almost got that one off. And the last one is 11 and a half. This tool is a tool that also comes with it. It has a smaller end and a larger end, which is perfect for you to be able to get those nice grooves in there. Hi, Karen. Hi, Kim. All right. I'm just going to kind of leave this. Let me see if it's in the picture there. Um, there we go. All right. So that you can see that. I'll be hiding it at some point because I'm going to be scoring and folding and doing that but I'm going to go ahead and just crease over that top part there and I'm using my bone folder it's going to give me nice crisp edges and I'm doing that on each of my different score lines here Now sometimes I make up bags, sometimes I get ideas. Um, this one, I was looking for a bag I could make with one sheet of designer series paper. So sometimes I'll just go to Pinterest and say, um, gift bag made with one sheet of paper or something like that, you know, and then there'll just be lots of varieties. And usually what I'll do is I'll take that idea and then I change it up a little bit. So that's kind of what I did with this bag. I changed it up a little bit to make it my own. Now on the bottom, flip this over. So here is our top, right here where we have that band. And down here at the bottom, we're gonna do a little cutting. So I make sure I have this in the screen. I might need to move my camera up, but we'll see if I can keep it in there. Okay, so we're gonna trim off this little end. So this is just a half inch. And then each of these, we're gonna go ahead and cut up. So we're cutting these up to that two and a quarter inch mark on all four of them. All right, now I like to take and just trim a little sliver off so that we angle that in just a little bit. Sometimes it just helps when you don't have quite as much bulk on each of the corners as we fold it up. So I'm just going through each one here. And as you can see, I mean, it is just a little sliver, maybe like a 16th of an inch. You can do more, it doesn't matter really. There's no right, wrong, or exact amount. I just kind of cut it up a little piece off there. No one's gonna see it anyways because it's gonna be the bottom of your bag and it's gonna get folded together. Okay, so we have all those pieces. I'm going to lift up this fold right here. And I'm going to take my Seal Plus. It's my adhesive. Let me get it started. I just put a brand new one on. And I'm going to run all along the top. And then I'm going to fold that down. So that's going to hold that nice and firm on there. I'm going to flip my bag over. And just fold this over and here is that half inch flap right here so we want to put adhesive on that half inch flap so I'm gonna go all the way down the half inch flap now if you don't have a strong adhesive like the seal plus you can also use um, our multi-purpose glue which works great too and then we have tear and tape which also works they're just a stronger um, adhesive than just our regular seal and it will help when you go to add um, some goodies to your bags. You wanna make sure that they're gonna hold what you put in them. All right, I'm bringing this over and I'm just going to match the top and run it right along there. Press it down and then I can pull it together. So you can see now it's starting to form that bag. Now here at the bottom, I'm gonna fold this flap over and I'm gonna fold this one down. So now these two can get tucked in like that. Okay, before I did that, I should have showed you that this is where my seam is back here. And if you look inside, you can see that seam right there too. Let me see if I can kind of hold the, there for the camera for a second. There you go, yeah, you can see that. Okay, this is my back where that seam is. So when I come here, 
this is my back side. I'm going to put two strips of adhesive on here. And I am going to fold this up just like that. Kind of give it a gentle press. We'll press it a little bit more. And then I'm going to come to the other side and do the same thing again. I'm going to fold that up. So there's our bottom. So see where I trim those edges? You can barely even see that I did it. But it makes it so there's no paper hanging off at the sides. So here we have our cute little bag. And I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to press in and give it a little pinch. And then the same with the side. I'm going to kind of take my finger and press it. I'm not scoring this or doing anything, you know, real um, hard or anything. I'm just giving it a little push. And then right here at the top, I am going to take this big hole punch here. You can use any hole punch you have. And I'm just going to punch a hole right in there. Now I'm going to set that aside and now I'm going to go ahead and make that tag. So we have this white, um, let me see if I put something underneath it. Okay, I'm going to do that so you can see that a little better. We are going to say, this is friend and this is hello. So it's going to say hello friend. And I am going to use our mint macaron ink. Whoops. Okay, and I am going to stamp hello right here at the top. And then I'm going to bring in my pale papaya and I'm going to do the friend. Hopefully I'm getting this straight. I don't want to put my head under the camera. That looks pretty good. Now there's so many different combinations with the stamp set of words that you could use. I just thought this would be a cute, um, Oops, I got a little adhesive there. Um, just a simple one if you want to drop a gift off to a friend or something like that. It's a perfect little saying. Now I'm going to cut into this and I'm just cutting around that little flower image. I love these little cards, but sometimes the sayings on them, they're not exactly maybe what you want to use for a card or a gift bag or something. They are called memory and more, so they're great for scrapbooking and, and sharing memories in that. But sometimes you just have to change them up a little bit. So that is what I'm gonna do today. I'm just changing it up a little bit. And you don't wanna throw this part away when you're done because this side right here would be great to punch something out. So I always save those little pieces. All right, so now we have that, and I am going to pop that up right here. So let me grab a few dimensionals. There we go. And I'm going to pop that up right there. I think that looks really pretty with those colors. Now I'm going to bring back my hole punch, and I'm going to punch a hole right here in the corner, just like that and take some of my linen thread. Whoops, I mean to throw my pin across the table. And it's probably about 18 inches, but it doesn't really matter that much because we're gonna tie it off. I just grabbed, I don't like to cut a piece off and have it too small and then have to cut another one. So sometimes I waste a little bit. Let me see if I can get this through that hole a little bit better. I didn't want to punch too big of a hole in there. All right, maybe I should have. Try that one more time. There we go, all right. So now we're gonna take these four ends, pull them up, and then I'm gonna do a little knot here. So I'm just gonna tuck it between and then give it a pull. So now we have a nice little loop right there. I'm gonna trim a little bit of this off, like that, and then grab some of my soft seafoam um, ribbon. So it coordinates and it really actually looks really good, I think, with the mint macaron. I think they both kind of blend together. So I'm gonna to pull this up, 
pinch it together a little bit, and then trim this off so I have a longer tail here. Next, I'm gonna take my, my ribbon and my tag, and I'm just gonna slip that through like that, pull my ribbon forward, and then cinch this together. Now, depending on what you put inside, you may not be able to cinch it all the way closed. You may need it a little bit more open, but you can do that. All right, so here is our cute little bag. And then the back of this is white, so you could write a little message on there to and from, or just some, you know, sweet little comment to your friend. But anyway, so there is our first bag. I hope you guys like that one. All right, the next bag is a little bit bigger. And this is what it looks like. Now I left it open on the top because I figured I'd put some tissue paper in there and add my treats and goodies. This is one of the memory and more cards that we're gonna cut out. And then I'm using that same stamp set. So let me show you how to cut that one. All right, we are gonna start with two 12 by 12 sheets of um, designer series paper. The back side of this one is um, pink mixture and it looks like our flowers do have a direction so they're both going up like that we first need to trim off four inches on one of the pieces of paper okay so we're going to set that aside that would be great to use maybe for making cards or something else and now we have our two pieces. So I'm gonna to start to score those. I'm gonna start with this one first. I'm gonna bring my board back up. Now I'm gonna go down the side. I'm gonna do one inch. And then I'm gonna come over here and do one inch. And then I'm gonna rotate and I'm going to do one inch. So this is the top of our bag. This is going to fold over, fold over, and then these will be our two sides. The bottom part here now, we need to score that at three inches. All right, so now I'm going to bring back my um, other piece. Now this is the top again. My flowers are going that direction. So I want my top to be folded over at one inch. And now I'm going to do the other three sides all at three inches. So one and three are the measurements we're using for this bag. Now this bag is bigger, as I said, and so it does take two sheets of paper. Making sure I get those off. All right, now we can start putting this together. All right, the top part, I'm gonna use my bone folder and I'm just going to crease that. And then I'm going to turn it and do the same on each one of these. Making sure that we get these sides nice and crisp. It'll help when we go to put our bag together. And then I'm gonna come up from the bottom and do the same thing. All right, we want to cut these up right here to that score line. So we're gonna cut up to the three inches. And again, if you want to trim the edges just a little bit, you can do that. So just kind of feather them in. Really what's doing, whoops, and I can't tell if I'm off the camera there. It's um, just thinning out so it's not so bulky in those corner points. And come over here. And then we'll come over here and get this one. Come on the end. Now this, as I said, this is a little extra step. You do not have to do this to make the bag work. I just like to take a little bit of the bulk out of it. All right, we want to form our bag like this. So get it together that way. So what we're going to do first is we are going to put
put some adhesive in here. So we're gonna put adhesive along the bottom. We're gonna fold these in and pull this up. We wanna make sure that we get this kind of squared in the corner on both of them, like that. And I just realized I forgot to put adhesive on this, so I'm gonna have to open this up a little bit and I am going to run some adhesive in there. There we go. All right, so here is the first part of our bag. And now I'm gonna set this down and I'm gonna bring this one over. So I don't forget, I'm gonna do that one inch strip on the top. And then I'm gonna use my bone folder, crease these edges. Hi Liz, thanks for joining. And I'm just going along all those edges again. All right. Now we need to trim up on here. And up on this side. This one I'm not going to really trim those edges because this bag is going to go... Um, inside so it's going to go in here like that okay so I'm going to take that seal plus and run all the way down the edge all the way down the edge and then right here I'm going to add some adhesive on here and I'm going to add some adhesive on there and now we're going to turn that in, just like that. And we're gonna turn this one in, just like that, okay? Now here we can take some adhesive and put it there. And then I'm going to bring back this piece and I'm going to run some adhesive along there. So we have adhesive right here on this part, the bottom, that's going to go to the back of the bag, and then we have adhesive right here that's going to get the front. So I'm going to move my camera up a little bit here. Let me see if I can get this up. And then maybe you can look down in the bag a little bit better and see. So I'm just sliding this in like that. And then I'm coming to the side and just finger pressing those on the sides. Make sure I get those and then come on this side and do the same thing. And then down here at the bottom, my hands inside, I'm giving it kind of a good press. And then there is our bag. So you've got this nice size bag. I think it's a really good size. You could also pinch this one if you wanted to and have a bag similar to the last one. I'm gonna go ahead and leave mine open and then we're gonna do a little bit of stamping and a little bit of cutting. So again, here is another one of those labels. This one here is six by four. So the cards are either six by four or three by four. And I'm just kind of free, quickly going around. I try as much as I can not to um, stop and move the scissors. I try and just keep on going around. It helps to make it, I think, a little bit smoother cut, but there's no reason, you know, if you wanna stop and do each section by itself, you can do that too. Now I'm gonna go around the scallop. I'm going right outside that line, trying to keep it on there. It is a really thin line, but I don't want a lot of the check on the outside, so I am. And again, you know, if you, do a little nip or a little something somewhere or another on here and it's not exactly how you like it, you're not gonna really be able to tell that much, so don't worry about it. I think these cards are great if you need to make a quick card and you don't have a lot of colors or something, you've got the perfect piece to do it. Now, currently loving, so that might be okay to have, but I don't really want that on mine. So now I'm taking and I'm going to kind of cut into the flower, flower here. So 
so I'm just cutting it to where it's got this opening right here. And now I have this piece is one inch by four and a quarter and I'm using this banner punch here and I'm going to slide it in. What's neat about this is it has one inch, three quarters and half an inch grooves. So depending on what size your paper is that you want to make, give that banner end to, you can use any of them. So I'm just gonna pop that out. And now I have this piece that I can put in here and I'm just covering up where that word wording was there. I'm gonna leave it down and not um, glue it yet because I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my sentiment on there. So we're gonna use Misty Moonlight and Blushing Bride. And the br Blushing Bride I'm gonna use with Birthday. So I have this where I want it. It's covering up just what I, whoops, just what I want. And then I'm gonna take my birthday and I'm going to put it down. There we go. And now I will take the birthday or the happy and I'm gonna do that in the misty moonlight. So since my flowers here, they have um, the crushed curry and daffodil in there with a little bit of the mint. I thought by bringing the Misty Moonlight in the Blushing Bride and it kind of covered all the colors that are in this paper. All right, so now I'm going to add my happy right there, just overlapping a little bit. Pull that up and I'm gonna take some of my Bumblebee Gingham Ribbon and I'm gonna tie a bow. I think this bumblebee ribbon is one that I use more than anything. What I love about it, for one, is that it's gingham, but two, um, is that it blends with all of our different um, yellow colors that we have. So it's not like you have to use daffodil ribbon, you can use this um, bumblebee. And even when you're using the crushed curry or any of the, even the lighter colors, it's great. I'm gonna take a little adhesive and just put it right here. Make sure I got some out there, nope. Okay, one more try. As I said, this is a new one. Oh, it looks like it came off the side a little bit there. Let me try and fix that real quick. So this adhesive is refillable and you can reuse it. And I just tore it, so I'm gonna have to fix that. I'm gonna stick in another one. So this is what I was gonna tell you about. So the one I was using there that I just broke, um, luckily I can fix that, but not so quick, um, is our Seal Plus. So that's a stronger adhesive. This is our regular seal. And there's two little prongs here and all you do is plop that in and you can put in a refill or you can change out and use the regular adhesive. There we go. So now I've got a little piece there and I can slide this under. There we go. And then I know I have some rhinestones out here, so let me bring those in. And my take your pick tool. This is such a fun, easy tool. It has a pointed end that you can pick up the um, rhinestones or gems, or it has this end that has the putty, and that's the one I'm gonna use right now. So it just picks up, and then I can put it down. I think I'm gonna add another rhinestone over here, just to add a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna flip this over now and add a grouping of dimensionals. It's pretty big, so I'm gonna try and hit all the areas all the way around and then do a couple in the middle. I wanna make sure this doesn't, this doesn't fall off. Now like the other one had a space to write on, this one really doesn't, so I think we're gonna have to another day make some more little note cards with this. which would be quite easy with all the different ones that we have to use. All right, so it's all sticky. And now I'm gonna bring this over and set that right on top. Let's see if it's straight out. There we go. So there is our large bag, and here is our small bag. All right, I hope you guys like those. I think they're a lot of fun to make. Um, I will be putting all of the products that I used in the comment section, and also the, I'll be putting the measurements in there too. Now, if you like this paper and you like the Memory and More cards, make sure you join me next Thursday night 
May 24th at 7 over on my Stampin' Up! Um, online Stampin' Up! workshop with Jeannie Cooker. And if you're not a member of that page yet, anyone can join. It's a, just a fun freebie um, place where I'm doing a workshop once a month um, and doing some fun projects. So if you can't find it, just message me and I'll help you find it. All right, thank you all and have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.